Buenos dias everybody, it's your girl Dora here for a new video. No video last week because work was on my ass, there wasn't really much to talk about. <clears throat> and uh, my SD card got fucked up because it got chewed by my stupid fucking dog. So uh, that gave me time to go to Walmart and get a new one. So here we are, back at it in here with a decent quality camera. <clears throat> by the way, it's... 40 something degrees outside for the first time in easily over a month. Also, it's snowing uh, like shit in New York. So, how about that for your global warming? But anyways, uh, the draft is right around the corner. It's gonna be here in just a few weeks, so I might as well go ahead and make a video. I haven't made a separate video specifically on the draft yet. Uh, so, we're doing it now. So, with all these players that we got during free agency, uh, like Alan Hearns, Deontay Thompson, uh, Cameron Fleming, and um, that other fucker from uh, San Francisco. It really spells out for you that Dallas is more than likely going to go defensive in the first round. However, if they were to go with an offensive player in the first round, people have been saying that they have a lot of interest in Christian Kirk. Um, and also, I wouldn't be surprised if they were taking offensive linemen. Maybe a right tackle or something. Let's talk about running backs. We're not re-signing Alfred Morris. And also, Rod Smith, I think he's going to be free agent after this season and the next offseason. So, we kind of have to have some more depth at that position. Um, I would love to bring in someone who would complement Zeke very well. Kind of like Alvin Kamara for Mark Ingram. That sort of scenario, that would work out fucking beautifully for us, I think. It would add another weapon, and it would open up the offense a shit ton more for Dak Prescott, I believe. This season, I haven't really paid attention at all um, to offensive linemen, because I didn't think that that would be a big need for us. Apparently it is. And if you're absolutely desperate for a wide receiver, you could pick up uh, Deontay Burnett or, uh, I don't know, fucking Michael Gallup or something. Uh, those are potential wide receivers that you could take in the later rounds. I would say Deion Kane, but after um, he was the fastest player at the Combine, uh, he'll probably go like um, in the second round, early third round maybe. So that's really all I have to say for the offense. So now we can get to the defense. One player that Cowboys fans have been talking about a lot is uh, Derwin James from Florida State. Uh, before the Combine, people had him going like top 15, you know, and now after the Combine, people have him going before fucking Minka Fitzpatrick, which is pretty surprising, and have him going like the top five and top 10. Uh, so that completely eliminates the possibility of him falling to us with the 19th pick. I wouldn't mind if we traded up for him, uh, but only for the right price. I really want to emphasize that because I don't want to be on some Chicago Bears bullshit where we toss out everything in the kitchen sink just to move up a couple spots. <laughs> but thankfully this offseason, uh, Dallas has been very careful with trades. Um, they didn't bite the bait with Earl Thomas, thank God. And uh, the fullback trade with Oakland, that was a really smart trade too. So if they are to trade up in this draft, uh, they really know what the player they're looking for is worth. However, like I said in the past, I don't think you could go wrong with trading down and picking up Deshaun Elliott either from uh, UT Austin. He has great coverage skills, um, but he's kind of non-existent uh, as far as the run defense goes. But I mean, with Chris Richards, the guy who coached fucking Cam Chancellor, I think that he can work out that kink with uh, Deshaun Elliott. May, might not be within the first two years, but definitely give him some time and he'll be a lot more productive. I'm really a fan of trading down for uh, Deshaun Elliott. I'm really a fan of that idea because uh, then you still get your starting safety and you also get, you know, an extra pick in return. But if you feel that confident in Derwin James and you end up trading up for the right price to get a chance to pick him up. Uh, I'm fine with that too. You really can't go wrong with uh, either of those two players. But my opinion, I would just prefer to have Deshaun in the extra pick. Next is defensive tackles. 
uh, really in the later half of the season, um, it really kind of spelled out for us that, hey, we need uh, a solid defensive tackle to match up with Malik Collins. Some people say David Irving. However, David Irving, he's kind of like our Michael Bennett, uh, except he doesn't physically assault 67-year-old paraplegics. <laughs> and about that whole situation, I don't want I don't want that whole thing to overshadow the fact that yes, Michael Bennett is still somehow oppressed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with you? Anyways, on field wise, David Irving, he's like our Michael Bennett. Uh you can really he can really play at any position on the defensive line and still have the same impact, but he's not a full-time defensive tackle or a full-time defensive end. It's just mixed up all the fucking time. We need a full-time defensive tackle uh to go with Malik Collins, uh Vita Vea from Washington or Deron Payne from Alabama. Uh you can't really go wrong with those two. Um both, and I know it's not like a Minka Fitzpatrick or a fucking Tremaine Edmonds or whatever. I know, if you're like me, when you hear a defensive tackle in the first round, you're like, oh. But if you get past the fact that, oh, it's a defensive tackle, you know, it's not a real flashy pick or whatever, it's still a big addition and can add a shit ton to this running defense. Next is linebacker. Uh, we have to find our Anthony Hitchens replacement. I really wanted him to stay, but with the money he was asking for, he, he just wasn't fucking worth it. So we ended up signing with the Kansas City Chiefs. So here's an idea. I don't think they're going to go with linebacker in the first round. Uh, it kind of depends who's there. But second round, just get this. What if the same thing that happened last year were to happen this year? What if we get two players from the same college within the first three rounds. What if we get two defensive players <laughs> who go to the same college in the first three rounds? Here's what I'm getting at. What if in the first round we trade down for Deshaun Elliott and in the second round we trade up if we need to, which we probably will, we trade up to pick up Malik Jefferson. Holy shit. Or, if you wanted to, you could uh, take Raquan Smith from Georgia uh, in the first round and uh, risk leaving Deshaun Elliott there and trade up for him in the second round. Um, whatever you want to do, but bottom line is we have to address all three of um, defensive tackle, linebacker, and safety in this draft. So, we have a lot of positions that we need to... Uh, work on and address in this draft, but with 10 picks in the NFL draft, I think that we can definitely get it done. So I'm just, I'm just counting the days. I'm so fucking ready. So those are my thoughts. Uh, if I have any more, I'll be sure to make more videos. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.